Matt Pike of High on Fire and Sleep's primal guitar sound, seismic records and life of attitude have made him a beloved cult musician and mega influence. Merging in the 90s with Bay Area band Asbestos Death, which became the iconic Sleep, Pike formed his second Savage Power Trio, High on Fire, in 1998. After 20 years of relentless touring, High on Fire paid homage to the mighty Lemmy of Motorhead on High on Fire's acclaimed eighth record, 2018's Electric Messiah. I love people, and I love people on tour, and I love people who can do... Man, if you can, if you can do like what we do as a living, do you, do you know how hard it is? Yeah. You know how, I mean, it's like, it's like when you respect someone who can box or fight, or it's like respect someone who can, you know what I mean, do the most travesty kind of thing to themselves, and they have enough self-loathing to be able to punish themselves, but then they have enough self-respect to like when it matters, to like rise up, and, and, and really, really do something for people, and then for other people not understand how they, where, it's a what sacrifice. they came from. Check out, let me kill him That guy is the ultimate of, of like, him and like Muhammad Ali and like the, Bruce Lee, you know what I mean? Just people who endure because they love their art so much that they will do anything to sacrifice, they will sacrifice themselves as a pawn to be part of a bigger picture, a part of the king's, the queen's gambit to get the king safe. The last time um, Motorhead played, they, they actually called a truce with all the biker gangs and they were all on the floor and it was probably my favorite concert of all time because the entire place oh, was full of it. peaceful bikies. It was raw, it was That's awesome. kind of weird, dude. <laughs> yeah. But no, they were all uh, so happy. And consider, <laughs> yeah, considering I grew up with a lot of dudes that are like HA or like, you know, yeah. That's uh, Freddie Corbin tattooed Oakland on me. Um, that's the first tattoo I ever got. That's the wasted tattoo. That's a gang that I, I was in this You're gang. in a gang. I was in this gang. Yeah, it was uh, the Brotherhood. This gang is the Wasted Crew. Um, the PMA is Positive Mental Attitude, obviously. Yeah, that's what's um, clear. That's my favorite actor, or one of my favorite actors, Daniel Day Lewis in Gangs in New York. And I know a lot of biker gangs and shit like that. That's Oakland, another lifestyle. Oakland, it came, it came from Oakland. Like, Hell's Angels came from Oakland. You know, those gangs show up and shit, and then to, like, have have them all in the same place like that or something, and to have Lemmy be all, you guys are gonna make peace. What's the motorhead way? How would you describe it? Um, dogged persistence in the face of mounting evidence to the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a band like High Fire, they're like real dudes. Like, we came over to Europe in 2002 with them, and it was a pirate ship. It was completely pirate pirateish on yeah. that ship. And that's yeah. awesome. That's <laughs> great. We had a way too much fun. Enough tough, enough fun for like 10 tours, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, we've always had that kinship with them, brotherhood, and you know, back then we were opening for up for them, and you know, now they would, they, they've opened up for us a couple of times. So it's, you know, it's a reciprocated kind of like, hey, listen to these guys, because these guys are the real shit. I mean, we see, I'm not going to name any bands, but you see other bands that have obviously stolen High and Fire's fire, so to speak, and they get huge because they kind of water it down, and it's like, oh, it's frustrating. Same with bands like Neurosis. Like, there's bands that pave the way and do all the legwork so that the other bands can just kind of come through. It's, it's like the first defense of the, or the first offense of the army and stuff. Yeah, they yeah. just kind of come in and they all die and get shot and killed. But hey, they uh, they've got through the trip wires and all the landmines. Now you can now you can yeah, yeah just yeah, yeah. the Mastodon guys. Wait, dude, we toured for like two years straight, like both of us on the same tour, and and like they got huge, you know, like like all of a sudden they got this bam. Like Time Magazine. Oh yeah, but and they, shit. oh man, those dudes like just just. You know, Troy and Braun and Bill and, and fucking Brent um, all like kind of paid us back by being all, hey man, you guys gotta listen to Iron Fire. You gotta listen to Iron Fire. You, you know what I mean? That yeah. Kind of thing. They so looked out like, for you. It's like it's like a good brotherhood thing when 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 you have each other's backs like that and you're a family. Is it true you guys met on, at an Iron Fire show? Uh, well, it's half true. That's where we kind of all came together. I mean, Braun and myself, the drummer, we've been playing together. 
since the early 90s in many different bands. And yeah. We moved from New York down to Georgia. So we all called each other and said, hey, we're, we're moved here and you want, oh, High and Fire, there's a mutual band that yeah. we know and are friends with, so let's go. They're playing across the street in, in this little punk rock like dirt basement. <laughs> I mean, it was back in 2000, early 2000. Yeah. So well, I went there and we exchanged, you know, like back patches and, you know, oh, hey, cool uh, Iron Maiden back patch. And, oh, Finn Lizzy, you like them? Cool. Slayer t shirt, yeah, we like Slayer Neurosis. Melvin's, yeah. Melvin's High and Fire. So we're like, oh, let's let's jam tomorrow. So it was, uh, that's where we all kind of just got real drunk together and took mushrooms and started like, hey, is there a band, man? Let's get a band together. And we did. Like all three of us now have punk rock. Punk rock dudes. Yeah. yeah. But we're all like got to a point where we're progressive players, you know? Aggressive and progressive. You know what the band, um, the guy from Baroness said to me once, he's like, look, I fucking love punk rock, but like I just got to a point where I just want to solo, man. That's kind of where the whole sleep thing came from when we went three piece. I wanted to play solos. I didn't want to just play punk rock anymore. I wanted to play fucking Sabbath y fucking riffs, but heavy as fuck and put real solos and you know, not do what everybody else was doing at the time, because at the time no one was fucking doing that, you know? Yeah. It was like us and Caius on the other side of the fucking planet, you know? It's, I don't yeah, Caius. 400 miles south from us. But, not quite. <laughs> but it feels like there's a big stoner rock thing happening everywhere. With that, like, sleep reissue a few oh. years ago, that yeah. kind of blew out the stoner rock scene a yeah, little bit. Like, um, it blew it up heaps. Whether it's stoner rock or not, like, anything with rock in it, is, has come from the blues. A lot of people don't get sleep, but it's it's like we can do whatever we want. And people still love it. Oh yeah, people still love it. And the people who don't love it, like, don't fucking go. <laughs> Why are you even fucking critiquing it if you don't understand it? It's a fucking really weird band. It's just the way it is. The ultimate state of rock album, Sleep Jerusalem. Oh, absolutely. And that's it. That's the only one you ever need to listen to. Absolutely. If you want it perfectly. You know, you can't hate on that. It ch ch chills up your spine, or it's supposed to totally confuse you. If anybody listened to anything Hendrix said, you know, that, that's, that's what he was all about. He was like, I want to make vibrations change people. And you can't do that if you got this little squeaky box up on stage with a mic in front of it going, look at me. Like, well, it just won't do it. It's like Matt Pike and his like, wall of orange. It's, yeah, yeah. it's scary. Yeah, and He would know. He gets yeah. it. Every band, whether it's punk or you know, blues or doom or whatever, tone is everything. Yeah.